Our last video covered template point controls, which move element endpoints. We're ready to look at element controls, which modify the elements between template points. You'll find the element controls group here on the ribbon. We're going to divide element controls into three videos. This first will cover the measure length and match length controls. Let's start with the measure length tool. It has two uses. The most common is to let you measure and use the length of a curve when you need to match the edge lengths of two patterns. We'll use a set of spa cover patterns to show you how to use this tool. For a radius corner spa cover, we need to know the final length of the corner radius in order to compute the length of the boxing and skirt patterns. We want to make one skirt pattern fit from the hinge point here to halfway around the corner. The next skirt will start at the center of the corner and extend to the same point on the other side. Select the measure length tool. The tool window will prompt you for a name for this measurement. We'll name it corner length and then press tab or enter. Now, click on the element whose length you want to measure. If you look in the parameter pane, you'll see that corner length has been added as a measured value. And now we can use corner length in the formulas for the length of the skirts, just as we would any other parameter. We'll add a new parameter named skirt length one and set its value to half the depth minus corner radius plus half corner length. Now we'll link our new parameter to the length of the skirt one panel. When we click apply, Skirt 1 will fit the final dimensions for the cover for any value we set for the corner radius. We can also use the measure length tool in combination with the match length tool. It's easy to make straight edges on patterns equal in length using just extender tools and some geometry, but curves are more difficult. The match length tool is amazingly useful. When you place it at the center point of a curve, Templates will move that point to adjust the curve up or down until its curve length matches a specific length. It can be used on either arcs or bezier curves with one internal point. We'll illustrate this tool's use with patterns from a shirt. When you're generating new sizes from the original base patterns, the curve length for the sleeve cap has to match the sum of the front and back arm size cutouts for the sleeve, plus a small amount of ease. We've already used the measure length tool to get the length of the front and back arm size. Next, we'll add a new parameter which we'll call sleeve cap. We'll set its value to the sum of the front and back arm size plus the variable named ease. We've prepared our sleeve pattern with the use of this tool in mind. It's a bezier curve with one middle bezier point as shown here. We'll select the match length tool then click on the top of the sleeve pattern to place the control there. And we'll link it to our new parameter, sleeve cap. We'll zoom in on the sleeve pattern so we can watch as we click apply variables. The midpoint moves up to lengthen the top and the sleeve cap is now exactly equal to the sum of the front arm size, back arm size, and ease. In the next video, we'll look at element controls that work with arcs.